All right, what's up everybody? It's John from Playing Trading Guitars. That's Zach behind the camera. And it's not every day you have a whole pile of Martin guitar boxes ready to be opened up. And let me just tell you, Zach and I just got back from Nazareth, Pennsylvania. We went to the Martin Guitar Factory. We saw the original factory on North Street. We saw the modern state-of-the-art sprawling campus of a factory where they manufacture about 200 guitars a day. We have a full comprehensive factory tour coming out soon. And we also had the most unbelievable time getting a tour of the Martin Museum where they have a priceless collection of historic gems in the Martin collection. And I even got to play those. You're gonna see all that, you're gonna hear all that, but make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any of it. In the meantime, we're gonna be covering all the production models from Martin. We started today with some best sellers that we're gonna show you on today's Unbox. Remember, if you're in the market for a new Martin, it's gonna help you to subscribe because you're gonna see comprehensive demos here. We're gonna talk bench specs. Of course, we're gonna play them. But today, we're just gonna kick it off with this ultimate unboxing of Martin guitars at every price level. So I've got some in the very budget-friendly territory of you know the five, $600 range all the way up to the standard series, and I'll show you some beauty. So why don't we get started on opening these up? Drop a comment as we go and let me know what you think of this unbelievable starting collection of Martins. Lots more to come. Make sure you subscribe. I can't wait to show you all this footage. I know Zach feels the, way, the same way too. Let's get started. Uh, I think we'll do this kind of from the budget end and work our way up. And I'm gonna start with the best seller. So let's open up this first box and see what we're working with. Martin operates two plants in the more budget friendly uh, and lower priced guitars. These are gonna be made in Mexico. And we're gonna check out something in the X series to kick it off. Pretty cool, it's a nice, actually a nice gig bag. All right, let's check this out. I know this one in particular is a bestseller and for good reason. This is part of the X series. This is called, oh beautiful, I love that sunburst. This is called the DX2E. D for Dreadnought, X for the X series, which is a combination of um, high pressure laminate woods. And actually this one has, uh, given that there's a two in that name, it has a real wood top, which is great. And then it even has, um, does this one have electronics? It does, it has a Fishman electronics system. So you can plug it in. This one's ready to plug and play. And uh, this is a really budget friendly guitar, but it looks beautiful and it's really become one of their best sellers because it allows you to get into a Martin in the X series for well under a thousand dollars. Super budget friendly. You can click our link in the description for the current pricing and you can order it straight from there. When you buy this gear using our link, you support us directly, but you get really easy payment plans. Trust me, it makes buying new gear super easy. So check out our link. You also get fast free shipping. Pretty impressive start on the budget end of Martin. And um, Ramin, who was who was kind enough to give us the tour of the Martin factory is also the international head of uh, product development and does a lot of work with the Mexico plant. He said his goal is that at any price point when there's Martins on the wall competing against any other company, he wants you to be able to pick these up at any price point and get blown away by what you're getting for the price and the value. And he wants it to hold its own and beat anything you put it up against. Looks already, looks beautiful. This is always like Christmas. We never get tired of getting these shipments in. It's so exciting for us and exciting for us to share them with you too. As we take a first look, kind of gives you an idea of what to expect straight from the factory. All right. We're checking out a guitar in the 10 series now. And this is also, these are best sellers as well. And they're offered in variations with a Sapili top or a spruce top, and I'll show you both. This is actually, let's get a look at this on the bench. Also step up, um, Nice material in this case. I love these gig bags. All right, so this is a D10E and 01. 01 for Sapili top, Sapili back and sides. And what Sapili is, is basically a cousin of mahogany. It's very similar to mahogany. Uh, this is a beautiful looking guitar. So in Martin's collections, usually um, anything with 15 is gonna be their all mahogany guitars. This is the 10 series, so it's a little bit more budget friendly because it's made of Sapili, which is kind of like a budget mahogany, but still very much sounds like that, and you'll hear that in the demo. It's got an onboard tuner, it's got electronics, so E in the name also tells you it has electronics. And this one, I mean, out of the box, this is, this looks beautiful right here. Too cool. That's the D10E, the 01, so you can check out, again, check out our link in the description for the current pricing. Really budget friendly though, solid dreadnought with a mahogany type of feel with that Sapili wood. Now this next one, I can see from the box, this is again gonna be a 10 series. Let's get this out of here. 
this is a step up. It's still called a D10E. It could actually be considered an 11 series. The biggest differentiator being that it has a spruce top. So let's see what this looks like. Again, these are really popular. I just showed you the D10E with the Sapili top, and this is gonna have a spruce top. Uh, this looks beautiful. So this is an upgrade in the sense that it has a true spruce top, which is just a nice quality top. Uh, Sapili back and sides, again, just like the other one. Uh, nice kind of satin finish across the guitar. These always smell so good when they come out of the box. It's like unreal. It smells like the Martin factory down here. And uh, yeah, you get this nice uh, multiply black and white binding, unbound fretboard, nice Martin tuners. Now this next one we ordered because not only is it really popular and we were super impressed when we played it at NAMM, but it's also super modern and the newest body design by Martin. Martin um, has this SC shape in the Road series and that's what should be in this box. So let's get a look. Road Series, as the name implies, is great for taking on the road. They're at great prices, but professional level instruments. Let's get a look at the S, wow. Yeah, and this is actually, the, it's available in a sunburst. And uh, wow, this is really cool. So check out how modern that shape is. Um, not only is the shape, so I guess it's like somewhat a riff on a grand performance type of shape, but it's all its own. They call it S for kind of an obvious reason. But check this out. This is a brand new neck joint. And the way that they do this neck joint allows this guitar to play uh, really fluidly and easily all the way up the register. So, I mean, you know, we do a lot of electric guitar demos, of course, and this guitar is made to be kind of a hybrid playing experience between a traditional acoustic and what you'd expect out of the accessibility of an electric guitar. And it's, even right now, I could just feel it's so easy to get my hands all the way up here. And uh, this thin neck joint and even the way it's cut away here is super high performance for playing in that upper register if that's what you want to do. I think they did a really nice job with this. Um, yeah, Zach and I first saw these at NAMM and uh, pretty impressive. I like those open gear tuners too, really sharp. Man, look at that wood grain on the back. Right? Look at that. And this is cool too, check this out. Um, this, is, this is ebony on the fretboard. They're using the whole tree now when they do ebony. So you're not gonna just necessarily find jet black ebony. You're gonna find this, what I think is beautiful, this streaked ebony. And that allows them to use all the wood in the tree instead of throwing away the stuff that wasn't jet black. So it's much more environmentally friendly, much more sustainable. And I actually think, especially with the sunburst, when you get that streaked ebony with the sunburst, it looks awesome. Look at this, they even got this cool rosette pattern going here with the wood and kind of pearl, pearloid. Onboard electronics. Totally new revolutionary design from Martin, super cool guitar. So that is called the SC-13E and it tops out our Made in Mexico Road Series collection at about $19.99 for the Sunburst. It's $17.99 for the natural uh, spruce top. Uh, but the Road Series, I highly recommend. You'll see when we demo these guitars, super dependable, super high quality guitars. And that SC shape is pretty revolutionary. Uh, now we are moving over to Nazareth for a look at the standard collection. Let's open up these boxes and take a look at the cream of the crop here. Unbelievable. And wait till you see our tour video. Oh, I cannot wait for these. Now, this, now you're gonna see the introduction in the standard series of hard shell cases, so. Let's take a look. Martin Hardshell case, standard series. I'm ready for this one. I'm pumped. Oh my goodness, here we go. I'm looking, I'm seeing some rosewood, so this has got to be the standard D28. Let's pull this out and take a look. Holy cow. Oh man, that smell. I wish you could smell this. Unbelievable. Check that out. Oh, it's unreal. So a D28 is gonna be a spruce top. You're gonna have this unbound ebony fretboard here, mahogany neck. And then the key characteristic of a D28 is that it will have rosewood back and sides. Uh, it's got kind of, I call it like a tighter teethed uh, sound, if that makes any sense. And again, you'll hear that in the demo. Uh, you got these 
open gear Grover tuners. The volute here, which man, when you see in our tour video, the way that they still carve all this by hand, shape all this, finish this, unbelievable, nice binding on this guitar. What an absolute, absolute beauty. Yep, D28, serial number down in there. Just can't stop smelling it. <laughs> it's really beautiful, can you believe that? So gloss nitro finishes when you get in the standard series, hard shell case. I mean, these are the quintessential Martin guitars. I mean, the, you know, the D28 is probably the epitome of a Martin Dreadnought, probably the most popular along with the D18. So let's open this other box and take a look at our last guitar standing. And then there is one, let's see, the last remaining guitar. Drop a comment, see if you can guess what's in this box. I'm sure you can but it's a great way to start off our Martin series of demos. Again, in the standard series, so a nice hard shell case. See, actually, this is a different case than the other one. All right, let me give you a first look. Oh man, at a Martin D18 standard, gorgeous guitar. D18 is gonna be having the main characteristic of having a spruce top, but in this case, it has mahogany back and sides, mahogany neck. And again, the biggest differentiator between a D18 and D28, D18 mahogany back and sides, D28, rosewood back and sides. And uh, this one's a little less because mahogany is a little bit uh, cheaper of a wood in terms of the price, not meaning that uh, you wouldn't prefer one over the other. Cause when you hear these, there's a distinct sound in the mahogany and a distinct sound in the rosewood and it's player to player. It's your preference, which one you know you want to play. You should probably own both if you can, but I am just stunned by these gloss nitro finishes, beautiful board, uh, beautiful mahogany back and sides. This is the true workhorse of, of Martin. You could probably compare this one. Um, you know, if you were gonna shoot them out, you could probably put this one most appropriately head to head with like the Gibson J45, which would have a spruce top, mahogany back and sides, mahogany neck. Uh, that one, of course, known as the workhorse over at Gibson. This is the true workhorse, in my opinion, of the Martin lineup. And the D18 is just a quintessential, iconic, famous American guitar from Martin. And oh, I can't wait to get this tuned up and play it. But for you to see these guitars played, remember to hit subscribe because we're gonna have full length demos, including bench specs, measurements, and of course, performance demos. We're gonna get them mic'd up. We'll show you direct anytime there's electronics. And we're gonna build this whole collection of Martin guitar demos. And make sure you're here when we release that Martin factory tour. Uh, and you can click all of that down in the description. If you're in the market for one of these beautiful Martin guitars, click to buy using our link. It helps us out. You get easy payment plans. And when you're buying a guitar at this price point, it makes it real nice that you can get super easy payment plans and easy shipping too. And uh, Martin has been a great partner with us already. And I can't wait to do the whole collection. This is a pretty darn good start. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. We'll see you on the next Martin guitar demo. Check out all the different demos across our channel. Electric guitars, acoustics, amps, basses, plenty more where that came from. So we'll see you on the next one. This has been super, super cool. Unbox, the great Martin Unbox number one. What a great collection.